that believeth in me, though he was dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. I know that my Redeemer liveth, and he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. Though after these skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God, whom I shall see for myself, and my eyes shall behold and not another. We brought nothing into this world, sir, and it is certain that we shall carry nothing out. The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Lord, make me to know my end, and the number of my days, that I may be certified. How long I have to live. <laughs> Behold, thou hast made my days as it were a span long, and mine age is even as nothing in respect of thee. And verily, every man living is altogether vanity. For man walketh in a vain shadow and disquieteth himself in vain. He heapeth up riches and cannot tell who shall gather them. And now, Lord, what is my hope? Truly, my hope is even in thee. I am a stranger with thee and a sojourner, as all my fathers were. Lord, thou hast been our refuge from one generation unto another. Before the mountains were brought forth, or even the earth and the world was made. Thou art God from everlasting and world without end. Thou turnest man to destruction. Again thou sayest, Come again, ye children of men. For a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday. Seeing that is past as a watch in the night. The days of our age are threescore years and ten. And though men be so strong that they come to fourscore years, yet is their strength then but labor and sorrow. And we are gone. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end.
Facebook, Facebook. Uh, and I told people in the car like this. My friends, you may be seated.
to God be all the glory. Amen. To God be all of the glory. Amen. 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 We ask that you turn your cell phones either off or to vibrate, please, ma'am. Please, sir. As we follow these services as outlined, I ask how many here today know how to get a prayer through? Amen. 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 Yes, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you. This is a praying time. Yes, it is. And this family need your prayers. Yes. So I ask that those of you who know how to get a prayer through, let's lift them up in prayer. Amen. Amen. That God will somehow allow his anointing to fall fresh upon them this day. Yes. Yes, Lord. Thank you, God. Let every heart pray. Yes. Eternal and everlasting and everlasting thou art God. Mm -hmm. Maker and creator of every good and perfect gift. Oh, yes. God, we come today asking that you allow your spirit to move in this place. Oh, yes, God. We invite you to pour out your spirit yes. Yes, Lord God. and come as near as we can yes, be. Lord God. Yes. God, if there ever was a time that we needed you, the time yes, is right now. Right now. So I pray that you will look upon this family yes, and bless them as only you can. Yes, Give them what your word declares yes, the yes, peace yes. that surpasses all understanding. Yes. And we'll forever be in thy gratitude to live. Your name with all praise, honor, and glory. But we ask it all in Jesus' name. And in Jesus' name we do pray. And the children of God said, Amen. 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 Following these services as outlined with our Old Testament scripture reading by Elder David Young. The New Testament scripture reading by Otis George, followed with prayer of comfort by Elder Young, tributes at that time afterwards by Joel Crosby and Devon Kincaid. There is a time and a place for everything under the sun. Yes. Yes. And you'll find me reading the scripture coming out of the book of Ecclesiastes, <laughs> chapter 3, starting at the first verse. To everything there is a season, yes. Yes. Yes, and a time to every purpose yes. under the heavens, yes. a time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill, a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to moan and a time to dance. Yes, it is. I just read out the book of Clear, Essex, chapter 3, 1 down through 4. May the reading of the word be a seed, sown deep down in your soul, and bring comfort to the family. Amen. 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 of Jesus Christ by the will of God and Timothy our brother unto the churches of God which is at Corinthians with all the saints which are in all at you. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be God even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of mercy and the God of all God. I read 2 Corinthians, the first chapter, the first verse, and through the end. And God said, Bless you. Amen. 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 Let us bow our heads. 
return of God, our Heavenly Father. Yes, God. Lord, we ask you just to look down on us right now yes, with God. the eye of passion. Yes, Lord, we know that you are full of mercy. Yes, we depend on you, O Heavenly Father. Yes. Lord, we know you are too wise to make a mistake. Mm -hmm. And, O Heavenly Father, we ask you just to remember this family. Yes. Remember this family, Lord, as they go through the ordeal that they are going through at this time. Yes, Lord. Pray, O oh, Heavenly Father, that you'll secure them. Put your loving arm around them. Yes. Comfort them, O oh, Heavenly Father. Right now, Let them know, Lord, that there is nothing too hard for you. Nothing, yes. God. Oh, Heavenly Father, we pray, Lord, that way over in the midnight hour, uh -huh. Lord, when all the bones have yes. gone home, we pray, O oh, Heavenly Father, that you'll go into their rooms Lord, put your arms around them. Comfort yes, them yes. in the way that they should be comfortable. Yes, Lord. We ask your heavenly Father just to, Lord, add blessing to this family. Yes. Give them to know, Lord, that your will will be done. Yes. And we pray, oh, heavenly Father, that you will enter into the hearts of each and every one. Lord, that they'll be able to come and do your will. Yes. Be obedient to your every word. And oh, heavenly Father, we ask you, Lord, just to lift them up. Lift them up and let them see, Lord, it's all about you. Yes. Lord, we pray, O oh, Heavenly Father, that you'll continue to lead and guide them into all truth. Lord, don't let them fall by the wayside. And all these blessings we ask through your darling Son, Jesus. Amen. 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 I took the letters of her man in his room, how I actually fell off. Yes, I love her for being a superwoman. During her battle with cancer, she always remained positive. T, trustworthy, regardless of the situation, you can always depend on her. E, she was so excited about coming down south to mm. visit her family. That's all she talked about. P, she was not a phony. She was as real as a kid. And she always told what was on her mind. H, my girl was definitely a handful and a force to be reckoned with. She always meant business. It was always honest and truthful. A, she was always there. Rain, snow, sleep, hail, or shine. If I called her, she would say, I'm on my way, mama. And her friendship is never ending. She always will be my bestie. I, she was an incredible mom, grandma, daughter, aunt, cousin, and friend. E, I'm thankful every day that we became friends and I will never forget about her. I will never stop talking about her. And I thank the family for accepting us when we came in. You treated us like family. I love her. Therefore, I love you guys.
She adopted me as her little sister long ago. We met in the white community, and I just admired her spirit and her love for motorcycles. And I was always, I want to be like you, sis. I want to be like you, big sis. And she saw something in me that I didn't see in myself. And she would always, always speak positive, always encourage, and always love on us. Remember all the happiness that she you, she brought up on us. Remember her positivity. Remember her love. And continue it. I'm going to continue it. My little one continued it. She always says, Mommy, when we going to go see the hammock lady? She had a hammock in her house. And she would let Bina come over. And we would sit and talk. And I kept saying, we're going to see you again when you get back. I'm going to see you again, sis, on the other side. I love you forever. Thank you. We have a selection by Chiquita George Williams. Ronald and Charles Nelson, followed with words of comfort by Apostle Rick.
some good day. Yes. 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 I've had some hills to climb. Yes. I've had some hairy day, hairy day. Oh, 
And when you get the news that time shall be no more. Yeah. Then you want to get in a hurry. My but one thing you cannot do That's is hurry God. Yeah. 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 Once time has been gone, yeah. you cannot retrieve it again. Time is gone. Yeah. I'm saying it again. Time ain't long. Yes, sir. Lord Jesus. Several years ago, we had a phone call in my wife, and it was Stephanie. Amen. She shared some news. Not the news that you wanted to hear, but nevertheless, it was news. It was going through an ordeal, and she wanted prayer. And we had prayer with her. And was not long. My wife would call her, or she would call her. She would tell us of the stages she had went through. Time ain't long. We had just come from out of town. We got a text. She was in town. And she wanted to see some loved ones. And wife talked to me. She let us go on and visit our sister. It was just before we scheduled to leave again. And if we don't go now, <laughs> we may not have a chance to see her again. And we went to see her. And we had a conversation with her. And again she asked for prayer. And I told her she's always in my prayer. Yes. She wanted to meet some of our loved ones. Because there was definitely something. Yes. Something had let her know. Yes. 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 And that I know within her heart that she knew yes. her time was not long. And that this would be an opportunity for me to reach out yeah. to those that maybe I have not seen in a while. Yeah. To reach out to those loved ones. Come on. That are my loved ones. You see, sometimes we are so wrapped up in our own doing. We can't find the time to share with someone else that's in need of a little of your time. Yes. We are so consumed about what we want till we just can't find the time to see what others may need. But we had the opportunity to talk with them. And when we were on our way out, a couple of days had passed. We got the news. And I looked at my wife. And I said, I'm glad. 
I'm so glad we had the opportunity Amen. to see her before she left. Amen. We are grateful. I'm just going to share this with you. There was a man that the Bible said had fell down on his luck. And he had planted a crop. And that crop did not yield all that he desired it to yield. No doubt he struggled through many years. And one day God decided that he was going to extend a little grace toward him. All of our days is not down days. There are some days that are good, but you just don't take the opportunity to say thank you. You just so consumed in what you thought you missed out on that you don't realize what God has granted you. He granted you one of the greatest gifts that can be, and that is life. Yes. Thank you, God. And not only that, he gave you power.
And the Bible says, all that he had reaped up and put in his bonds. Who is it? Come on. All right. Who is it? Yes. That's going to receive it. Come on here now. Yes. That's all right. What will it profit a man? Yes. To gain the whole world and lose his soul. Come on. God gave you time. Yes. Right? Yes. Time for yourself. Yes. He also gave you time to help your brother. Yes. He also gave you time yes. to reach out to a stranger. Yes. That's right. Yes. And yes. one most important thing is God gave you time for him. Yes. Whatever you do, no matter how busy you are, take time out to say, Lord, thank you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because yeah. that's all time. Yeah. Thank when time yeah. shall be no more. Yeah. And I want to let you all know that we will be back here again. Yeah. Because time.
And my friends, the final resting place for Miss Stephanie Jordan will be in the Pleasant Grove Missionary Baptist Church. You ask for those following the procession, please drive with extreme care and follow the car in front of you as safety will permit. Crawford Funeral Home or law enforcement will hold any liability for the procession. Thank you.